Yeah, well, this is in regards to what Mr. Hall stated at oral argument, June 5th, 2013. He also lied to the Idaho Supreme Court, along with Miss San, uh, uh, Miss Rachel O'Barr, for the firm of Anderson, Julian Hall. Mr. Hall stated to the Idaho Supreme Court that supposedly they have records stating that, you know, I was released to, you know, a couple hours a day, uh, I mean, a couple hours a day, a few days a week, but isn't it a fact that was a lie? Because right here, I have a letter from my company of May 30th of 2008. We have been notified from the Industrial Commission's Rehabilitation Division that you have been medically released by Dr. Gross on May 29, 2008 for modified light duty work, the same day that they sent my referral over to see Dr. Hansen. Yeah, and then I seen Dr. Hansen on the 30th, but they're trying to make it out to believe that, uh, that, uh, <laughs> because I didn't like the way that I was returned to work, I went and seen Dr. Hansen. That's a lie. We are pleased to offer you a return to work full-time position started June 30th, 2008. Your duties were modified for light one-handed accommodation work. If you intend to return to work, you may start Tuesday, June of 28th at 7 a.m. That means uh, I've been returned to full-time. That's uh, uh, 10 hours a day, 4 to 5 days a week. So, Mr. Hall... You stated a lie again in the Supreme Court also. But then again, the Supreme Court was only able to review the basic, the standard, or whatever they call it. But I believe that law needs to be changed because of this right here. I think I believe I deserve a new hearing. Especially if they're lying to the Supreme Court too. Right here. Mr. Hall stated that I was returned only a couple hours a day. This ain't two hours a day. This is full time. I was working 10 hours a day, four to five days a week. Yep. <coughs> <coughs> and they're saying that I quit my job. I walked off my job. OSHA found my company to be in 21 serious violations. Also fined them for 15 of them. And one of them was where I was working at. And the other one that they were found guilty of is for not giving their employees a safe workplace. That's right. Again, the Idaho Supreme Court <laughs> affirmed the commission's findings. I can't believe this. There must be corruption in Idaho. For this right here, clearly, from Crybaby Foods, LLC, that was sent to me, stating that I was returned to full time. Nowhere does it say, or have I ever been returned to light duty, two hours a day. Again, if there are documents in there, they're fraudulent documents. <laughs>